Here we are asked to find the inverse of this given relation. We're going to call this one the original. So the inverse we would find by switching the original ordered pairs. So here we would have 5 comma 3, negative 4 comma 2, 5 comma 1, and 7 comma negative 3. Close that off with a curly brace. So there is our inverse of the original. Okay, next question. Was the original function uh, relation a function? So we want to look back up and look at the x values that we have here. We see there are no repeated x values. So yes, the original func uh, relation was a function. Is the inverse relation a function? So we want to go back and look at the x values we have here. And we see that there are two x values of a 5, and they're assigned to different y values. 5 is assigned to 3, and 5 is assigned to 1. So no, the inverse relation is not a function. So we're going to say not a function because 5 is assigned to two different y values. So we notice in this particular situation that just because the original relation was a function, that does not necessarily mean that the inverse uh, relation is a function. Notice what happened. Look back at the original function and notice that we had two y values that were repeated. That doesn't affect the original being a function. However, when we reverse the x and y values, that guarantees that the inverse will not be a function.